We got the alligator and the creep unlocked. Go with alligator. Ten consecutive life sentences and has evaded the death penalty by agreeing to help interrogators when they are stuck. Pay him a visit. Learn why they call him the alligator. Visit him often to gain more insight on each of your cases. Newspaper and internet are full of stories about the famous serial killer known as the alligator. During his career as an interrogator, he solved many cases with his unique ability to peer into someone's soul through their eyes. All of his victims were found with missing eyes and not a trace of forensic evidence. He was never caught. Rather, he confessed of his own free will. Alexander Gates the infamous Alexander Gates. May I ask you some questions? You're the new interrogator, are ya? May I see your credentials? Um, you may not. No, that bad cop routine won't work with me. Try again. May I ask you some questions? You're the new interrogator. <laughs> Certainly. Closer, please. Closer. The alligator snaps at your throat, killing you instantly. Another interrogator takes your place and does exactly the same thing up until now. Except... Well, we died! Oh, we got six minutes left on the battle. Certainly. No, sir. No. That is rather slippery of you. I ain't getting eaten again. Do you know why you're here? Because I don't. Um. Do you know why you're here? Yes. Do you? Will you help me? Oh, no. You were doing so well. You came in courteous. You knew just the right time to stop. And now you just jump in the big questions. Romance me a little. Start with some foreplay. Don't just jam it in there. What did we walk into? Uh, tell me about yourself. Do you know why they call me the alligator? Uh, because you're a patient hunter, because you're a murderer. Alligators are not patient hunters. Um, because you're an interrogator, because your last name is Gates, because you're from Florida, because you grin a lot. Because you're an interrogator. Yes, but every question you were just thinking of, I despised the name at first. It has no bearing on my true motives, but I must admit it has grown on me. It's actually quite clever. What do you do for a living? You're in prison. Do you drink or do drugs? I have but one vice. And I think you already know what that is. Oh, can we get DNA swab? I believe you already have it. No match. We access to your phone? Why does he have a phone? You mean the prison phone? Nothing found. Um. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Copy. Look, you just put copy in the guy's face. Uh, what do you do for a living? Living? Is that what you call this? Read my case file. Uh, did I ask about God already? Do you believe in God? Um, I don't know. Enough about that. It was either coffee or farts to the face. Well, it's his face, not my face. 
<laughs> Slam desk. I slammed the desk when you did that. And he said, what we want fun. Oh, interrogator, you think you can dissect me with this blunt little tool? I got those out of party. No, it's not. You'll have to raise my pressure to maximize me for it to snap. Ah! What do you do for fun? You have them too, don't you? Have what? The eyes. The eyes of a gator. You don't need a polygraph. You are able to see exactly how much how pressure rapper are suspected feeling. It seems that even I won't be able to lie to you, interrogator. Do you stay in touch with your family? I keep them close to my heart. You know, if you had the eyes of an interrogator, you could see a person's soul. If you can look them in the eyes as you take their life, they confess everything. How is your love life? Why? Who's asking? I am. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> he won't cut fast! <laughs> Go on, slam the desk. It feels good. I don't have a slam desk button. How about you release me? No. Were you treated okay? I already told you. The whole good cop, bad cop routine won't work with me. Well, it looks like we're going to do horrible on this one. You know what I did the last interrogator who told me to relax? I turned their eyes into salsa and ate them with tortillas. Crunch, crunch, crunch. You want to speak, but you are frozen. You know what you look like to me? A noob. A scrub noob. You've beaten a few games, got a little shiny achievement, but you saved scum, didn't you? You used guys and wasted all your time so you could say, I did it. I beat the game. I'm the smart one. All the while your peers went on to live real lives. All the while your life creeps away, second by second. It's time to confess. Forgive me, I got bored in here all alone. Ask me again one more time. The alligator stares, pierces through your soul, pinning it in place. Uh, any insight on the stalker? John Jankoto. Um, I don't remember him. She's the only suspect. Oh, what could this poor, sweet, innocent woman have done? This one is easy. In order to get a full confession from her, you should disregard everything she tells you. If she tells you the sky is blue, assume it is black. Do not appeal to the person that she projects herself to be, but appeal to the real Joan, the one she says she doesn't care about. Um... The stalker. It's a boring case, but good training for an up-and-coming interrogator. You can easily just point the finger at the obvious culprit and walk away with a good boost to your reputation. But is it obvious? There's no hard evidence. They're all lying to you. But only one of them has no reason to lie except to cover up a crime. Daniel McStevens. This is another open-shut case. However... If you want a confession, you'll need to be very careful. If he feels you are not on his side, he will not tell you anything. Enough about this. What do you think of the instructor? Yeah, no. I used to have his job for a while. 
They said I was too intimidating and confusing for the new recruits. Can you believe that? Okay, so we did not do good on that case. We got zero.